Welcome to the Library of Congress and another of our debates on issues of national importance produced by the Miller Center of Public Affairs at the University of Virginia. I'm Ray Suarez of the NewsHour with Jim Lehrer. Tonight we debate whether affirmative action policies should be based on wealth and class rather than race and ethnicity. It's fitting that this debate be held in the Great Hall of the Library of Congress. It was Thomas Jefferson, founder of the University of Virginia, whose personal library was one of the early building blocks of the Library of Congress. One of the central advocates in the history of the affirmative action issue has been the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. The Library of Congress holds the papers of the NAACP, one of the most widely visited collections in the library. We're indebted to the Library of Congress and to the Librarian of Congress, Dr. James Billington, for their extraordinary service to our nation, to scholars around the world, and for their gracious hospitality this evening. Again, our debate resolution, affirmative action policies should focus on class and wealth rather than race and ethnicity. And joining us are four participants with broad knowledge of the topic at hand. Arguing to emphasize class and wealth is Dalton Conley, Chair of Sociology and Acting Dean of the Social Sciences at New York University. His research includes the study of racial inequalities and focuses on how socioeconomic status is transmitted across generations. He's joined by John McWhorter, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute and weekly columnist for The New Republic. A linguist, McWhorter writes frequently on race and cultural issues. Arguing to maintain the emphasis on race and ethnicity is Julian Bond, chairman of the NAACP. He's a recipient of the Library of Congress's Living Legend Award in 2008. His teammate is Lee Bollinger, president of Columbia University. When Mr. Bollinger was president of the University of Michigan, he was the named defendant in the 2003 Supreme Court cases that clarified and upheld affirmative action in higher education. Before we begin our debate, some background. 